Hello everybody, Tom with Flash Phones. We have the Samsung Galaxy S4. We're going to flash this over to Boost Mobile. It's very similar to the S3. We're going to go through it together real quick. There's a few little nuances that are different with the S4, but other than that, it's a pretty simple phone to flash. So, if you're ready, grab your phone and let's go. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is show you how to put the phone into, into uh, developer mode. This is a little bit different on the S4. Uh, it's not necessary to flash it, but I'm going to show it to you because, like I said, it is different on the S4. We're going to click on Menu and Settings, and the first thing you'll notice about the S4 is that we have these tabs across the top, which is different from the S3. So, what we want to do is click on More, over on the right hand side of the screen there and we'll click scroll to the bottom and about device we'll click on that because if you look up here in the menu you don't see uh, developer options it's not there so go to about device and scroll down and then at the bottom of the screen somewhere around build number just start tapping the screen and you'll see a little thing come up saying you're a few steps away from developer mode so once you tap it the appropriate number of times and what you probably didn't see on the video is it's telling you to tap three more times, two more times, one more time. Now if we back out of there you'll see developer options is now a menu in the settings so we can click on that and then we have the very familiar developer options screen. We'll use this a little bit later. So for now we want to go ahead and we want to put the phone into uh, diagnostic mode. So we'll click on phone. We'll dial pound pound 3424. And you'll notice it asks for the MSL. And it's always going to ask for the MSL. It doesn't matter which key code you use. So we have to get the MSL. That's no problem. What we'll do, you'll notice I already uh, put uh, connected this phone to Wi-Fi. So we'll just go to the Play Store and we'll search for get my MSL and there it is so we'll select it we'll install it now typically I would just push this ADB file from my computer using shell commands but most of you guys are going to download it. So I elected to show it this way. So now once that's on the phone, you can go to your applications and you can run it. Tell it to get your MSL. It's going to give you an error. We'll click OK. Go back to the home screen. Go to the dialer. And we'll enter a foreign code here it's going to tell us that's incorrect. We'll go back to the apps. We'll run get my MSL again. And now it's going to give us our MSL code. Obviously this on this device it's all zeros because we changed it. But on your device it'll pop up with the appropriate MSL code. So now you guys know what to do. We'll just go back to the dialer. and we will enter that in right here okay great we'll leave it on PDA click on Qualcomm settings we'll click on DM modem plus ADB and then OK and now we're all set to go let's go over to the computer and we'll plug the phone in okay so now that our phone is in diag mode and it's plugged in we'll go over to CDMA workshop and we'll go ahead and find the port on this. Now, this is one of the little nuances. You'll notice we have three ports here. We have two serial ports and a modem. You always want to use the lowest numbered serial port. So you'll see they're sequentially numbered. They'll always be sequentially numbered. Always choose the lower of the two. Go to security. And that's here somewhere. The 
4.1.2. Oh, I got to connect. We'll run that. Password's correct. And now we'll go to terminal and we'll run our script to zero this out. So we run the script that zeroes out the SPC and now you can send the SPC as zero. By the way, if you don't have that script and the 4.1.2 password, uh, there's a link uh, to the developer, Alex. You can uh, He's on another forum, but that link will take you to his page. He's selling that script, so you can get that from him if you don't have it. If you flash a lot of these phones, obviously you got to have it. And then we'll go to the main tab. We're going to load up the profile from the desktop here. And we'll click on write. And we'll go to other. And we'll do the boost PRL. And now let's go back over to the phone. And what I want to do here is I just want to shut Wi Fi off. So we'll go to menu, settings, we'll turn Wi Fi off. And then we'll go to more networks. And we'll click on mobile networks. And we're going to change the network mode to CDMA. It's going to ask us if we want to reboot. We're going to click OK. Now the phone will reboot. And when it comes back on, we should be able to test everything. All right, so the phone's booted back up. And we've got the 3G. Let's go ahead and make a test call. There's the hands-free activation. Alright, so we see that that works. And let's just test out the internet real quick. And we'll just type an ESPN. So there we have it. And MMS obviously is set the same way as always. So that gets you in there. Go to advanced. I'm sorry, this is a Samsung. Go to others. And you can set your MMS C URL right there. So that's it. Now there's a few other things we need to do on this phone. We need to root it. We need to get rid of the hands-free activation. We'll have videos for all that. So subscribe to us on YouTube. And also check us out on CDMA Gurus form. If you flash phones, you need to be a member of CDMA Gurus. Preferably a premium member. That's it, guys. Have fun. If you have any questions, please uh, leave them in the form. And as always, keep on flashing.